yeah hi everyone so you must have seen the thumbnail already so i have a major career announcement to make so many of you might already be knowing that i have been working as a hardware analog engineer in one of the most reputed uh, hardware company for electronics and electrical engineers yeah so the update is that i have resigned from my job now and now there will be a lot of questions that uh, why did i take this decision and uh, if i had if i have taken this decision now so what i am going to do further so i will answer all the questions one by one so let's first come to the first question that is why did i take this decision so we will start by discussing some particular aspect which can which can make a employee to leave a particular company so let's start with the first one that is money so in the organization that i was working in there was no issue about the money the amount they used to offer to a fresher that was near to or even more than what these software fine companies offer so in the organization that i was working in there was no issue of money at all so that was not a issue at all now what can be the second point the second point can be work life balance or work pressure so in my company there was no work pressure on me they were very very understanding my all my mentors managers were very very understanding everyone was was very very helpful even my colleagues were very very helpful those who joined with me they were also very very helpful so work culture was excellent this can vary up to this can vary from team to team but if i talk about my team i am not taking the team name i am i am even not going to take the company's name as well yeah because needless to make views on the name of company so i am not going to take the name of company now let's come to the third point the third point could be uh, could be your interest so whether you were interested in your work or not so i was working as an analog design engineer and uh, i was interested in my work it's not that i was not interested in my work i was certainly interested whatever the project i was given i was interested in that so there was no issue of interest as well so what actually made me drop this job the thing is i i am really passionate about teaching now you would say that uh, every second youtuber we see that he that youtuber joins a big tech company and he leaves the job after one year and say that he is passionate about teaching and everyone does so and you are doing the same thing yeah i am doing the same thing but i really am passionate about teaching and i have enough things to prove that i started my youtube channel in my second year when i just uh, completed my second year when i was in fourth semester i started my youtube channel at that time i had no gate rank uh, i was not uh, i i had not secured any internship i was just a normal second year btech student from at iit college but i started the youtube channel just for the passion because i and i did not start with the with any uh, what do we say st some strategy video or anything like that my first video was challenging question on analog electronics that was the that was my first video so i was never interested in doing this mentorship and all those things from the beginning of the school as well i was always inclined towards teaching and this is what uh, this is the work that made me feel good it's not that i was not i was never interested in analog design but yeah there was two choices i had to pick one so i went with this teaching thing so the major reason behind uh, resigning is like my interest only my interest lies in teaching and i am very very much inclined towards teaching but if i would like to add one more reason that could be my health actually in bangalore there is a very frequent weather change so uh, i was not able to cope up with my health within 10 to 15 days i used to uh, fall sick so certainly that is not the main reason for resigning yeah that would be very very foolish if i say that i have resigning i am resigning just because of the health nothing like that the main reason was my passion of teaching only but this is just a just a small point which which made me think more about uh, going back to my home and start working there so yeah this is what made me do so and and if you feel like that he is just doing the things that uh, other youtuber does so you can feel you can feel in that manner i i don't have any problem yeah so the next question coming now would be what you are going to do now since you have resigned from your job and there are not much vlsi opportunities now so what you are going to do so the simple answer is i am going to teach and teach for what are you going to teach some industry level things no i cannot teach industry level things and that i know i accept that because i have just have one year of experience but till entry level i can certainly teach whatever that is required to get into the industry whatever that is required to get into mtech or ms in india from isc iits so till gate level or till or whatever that is required for placements at the entry level whatever that that uh, your company would expect from a fresher 
till that point i know it very well and i know how to teach that thing that also very well so yeah this is what i am going to do as of now and this is the only thing that i can tell you i have more plans as well and slowly everything will be coming on our channel only everything will come so now the next question that would be coming to my path is that since you have resigned from your job and you just said that you are going to teach so are you going to join any ad tech company so the simple answer is no i am not going to join any big ad, ad tech company that has a great funding nothing like that i am going to teach on my own on this prep fusion channel whatever the content i bring that will be our own content it's not that i am challenging anyone here nothing like that i don't uh, believe in challenging any educators or anything like that but i have full trust on my con content i have full trust on my teaching and those who have studied from me they also have full trust on me that whatever i am going to teach that concept i am going to teach in a very in depth manner whatever that is required for at a certain exam level at a certain interview level and whatever that is required that will be taught in a very very good manner so the now next question would be coming to my path would be since you have said that you are going to teach and you are going to teach independently so what you are going to teach now so i am going to teach in briefly i have already told i am going to teach for gate so for gate ec electrical instrumentation and biomedical students i will be bringing a lot of content for gate students i have already launched free network analysis course free control system course and our paid analog electronics course is also there and in a very short time we are going to bring mathematics as well aptitude as well and digital electronics as well so with the with gate 2025 i will try to bring as many subjects as i can but i cannot promise that every single subject of ec electrical will be completed by gate 2025 but certainly till gate 2026 we will be completely ready and we will be teaching all the subjects i will be taking major all the subjects certainly ec core will be taken by me i will be taking all the ec core subjects as well and most of the common subjects will be taken by me uh, i will take uh, now signal systems as well and digital electronics as well and then for ec core i'll be taking emft edc and communication system i have already taught network analysis and analog electronics control system is taught by anish and mathematics will also be taught by him only and aptitude will be on me so yeah that is the flow and anish will also take electrical core so this is the flow that we are going to proceed and yeah certainly one thing i can promise is that if you have followed already our network analysis or control systems or analog electronics the quality of content that is there on prep fusion that would be the level best that anyone would see and it will never be and you will never feel like that that this much of content is taught too much in depth that that is not required for the examination or too much less that uh, you are not even able to solve the problem whatever that is required for a particular examination for a particular interview that will be taught because we have also gone through the same stage i have also attempted gate examination and i secured very good rank in that so i also have the experience of writing the gate and i also have appeared for analog vlsi and digital vlsi interviews as well so i know what could be expected from a fresher so i think that uh, that is required certainly that i am going to bring and in a very very great manner if you have if you are already following the course if you are already following prep fusion then you already know the quality of our content and one final thing i would like to add is that please avoid asking anish if he is leaving his job or not he is not leaving his job he likes the work he is doing in his organization he will be keep on doing that, that. he is just a uh, helping and for me on this channel whatever that he can do he will bring right and he will certainly keep on doing his corporate job he will certainly keep on working in his company because he likes the work there he likes the work culture there even i liked my work there i even i found the work culture to be very very helpful very very understanding but i only had two choices and i had to pick one and then i thought the teaching is something that uh, interests me so certainly i am going to proceed with that so yeah so i'll be going back to my home and will be working from my home only and will be delivering the lectures online so every single subject i will try to take and whatever that i can cover in minimum in minimum number of days that i will be bringing and lastly i am very thankful to all my mentors in my organization also uh, also to my colleagues as well who were very helpful for to me and also i talked to some of the people regarding my decision of resigning and they certainly advised me what they felt right because it's not that they were Uh, saying just because of some some their own benefit they they just told me what should i do based on what they felt right and i totally respect that so i certainly respect their advice i certainly will always hear their advice it's not that i am disrespecting their advice by going by not doing what they told me to do so if you are someone who told me not to resign but if you are watching this video then uh, i i just want to say it's not that uh, i am going against your advice i certainly respect your advice but it is just my personal decision 
I'm very, very passionate about teaching. So I always wanted to do it. And I just found that I just thought that this is the right time where I can take the risk. Yeah, so that's it about the video. Now talking about our courses. So for watching our courses, you can visit our website preffusion.in. So there you will find there are two free courses, Network Analysis for Git and Control Systems for Git. So both courses are completely freely available and will always be free. So in Network Analysis, we have given roughly around 70 hours of content and in Control Systems, we have given roughly around 105 hours of content. So whatever that is required for the Git syllabus that has been covered and that too in a very in-depth manner and in a very, very different approach. And talking about our paid courses, so in paid courses, we have launched two courses yet. First one is analog electronics for gate. So whatever that is required for gate syllabus that has been covered and uh, that is of roughly around 100 hours. And the other one is analog VLSI mastery cohort 0 to 100. That is for the analog VLSI placements for both for the interview and the return test. So yeah, so all these courses are there and you can keep on visiting our website. So you will certainly find new courses there as well. And for all these courses, launch video has also been made. So you can check out the course curriculum there as well. Okay, then thank you.